Okay, this course, uh, well, this little um, exercise is about trying to find the course over ground or an estimated position. Okay, so basically we we went off sailing. Uh, we're looking in hindsight now because um, we've arrived somewhere and the fog's come in and we suddenly now need to forget about only a dead reckoning. In other words, what was our water track and what does our log say? We need to also factor in what did the leeway do and then factor in what did the tide do to us to determine an estimated position. So the first thing we've been given is a water track of 270 degrees and the log reads 6 nautical miles. But if you remember, that's the guy on the helm and the navigator comes out and he looks behind him and says, hold on, Nick, you've actually got a northeast wind and there's a leeway of 10 degrees. So in other words, we need to factor that in before we do anything. So if we looked at a compass rose, and we said we were going 270 degrees, but the navigator looked outside and he could see a water track like that. The wind was blowing northeast and it created 10 degrees of leeway. So in other words, the actual water track is more than likely 10 degrees lower, minus 10. So that would give us a 260 degrees. So the first thing we do is we take an assumed fix from where we would have started and we put in a line water track of 260 degrees. We then look at our log and we say, okay, well the log says we've actually gone six nautical miles down the track. But we need to be more accurate with just a dead reckoning. We need to sort of say, well, okay, what did the tide do to us in this last hour as well? And if we look at the tidal stream, the tidal stream says it pushed us in the last hour. One, two, three. It pushed us uh, two nautical miles in a direction of two, one, zero degrees. So from this, we can actually now deduce exactly what our water track was, at least uh, correction, what our course over ground was, and we can determine what our actual boat speed was, because this position is now our estimated position. Uh, so just to recap, we first take the leeway into account, we then draw the leeway line after, after leeway for our water track, we put our tide on the end, and then we join these two points together to find our course over ground. Um, so we can read off the bearing and we can read off the actual speed we did. Hope this all helps. Any questions, give me a shout.